After my wife left me, my life was a mess. A friend at work recommended Feng Shui, said it changed his life. I thought, what the hell? So I got myself a book and started reading. I soon discovered it was the answer to all my problems. The words, the passages spoke to me, filled me with a new sense of purpose. I quickly realized my life was wrong and went about making amends. With my newfound sense of order, I promised myself I'd never make the same mistakes again. Little then did I know I would soon become... Obsessed. Within a few days, I began to find life's little imperfections more than annoying. The toilet roll, for example. Look at it. Three and a half inches from the base. How could I have been so careless? That night, I wrote myself a list of things to do the next day. The first thing on my list was to tell my friends I wouldn't be needing them anymore. My only friend now was Feng Shui, and he needed my total devotion. The second thing I had to do was to seal the mailbox. No damn letters were ever going to spoil my carpet again. The last thing on my list was to make a list of all the lists I need to make sure I didn't forget anything. Next morning I woke up full of purpose. I got my lists together and started making some necessary changes to my life. Despite everything I had done, something still wasn't right. Negative chi flowed all around me, permeating my soul. I 
returned to the book for advice. And there it was. Wind chimes, the single greatest weapon in a Feng Shuist's arsenal. Positioned correctly, they deflect negative chi, allowing positive energy to circulate within. As soon as I put them in place, I could feel a burden lifted off my shoulders. As long as nothing changed from now on, I would live the rest of my life in divine harmony. I uttered the sacred words, Wakatar, and instantly my soul was at peace. my ex-wife. What was she doing here? Look at her, strutting in like a French chicken, spoiling the ambiance with a cocksure attitude. How could I have married it? No! That my specially arranged tropical herbs! What's she looking for? I hope it's not the wind chimes. Oh no! It is the wind chimes! No. No, don't do this to me. Please. No! No! That's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Although my balls were killing me, the pain of seeing her steal my beloved wind chimes hurt ten times more. Damn it! If only I'd sealed the door instead of the mailbox. As I lay there, crippled and humiliated, I began to think of the effect losing the wind chimes would have on the house. Without them, negative chi would start filling up the back room. Before long, I would reach the stairs, and soon after that, well, I'd have nowhere else to go. The thought of my predicament sickened me, and I vomited. Thankfully, I managed to keep the contents of my stomach from leaving my mouth. If it had landed on the floor, well, thank God it did. stomach empty and life in ruins, I pondered my next move. Eventually, I realized there was only one place I could go to escape the chaos all around me.
so this was it, my new home for the rest of my life. I soon realised that in my eagerness to escape the disharmony, I'd forgotten to bring a supply of food and water into the cupboard. But there was no leaving now. If I opened the door, I'd surely die. Five weeks of eating and drinking my own shit and piss, I began to wonder whether it was all worth it. But by then, it was too late.